Hi everyone, and welcome to the third week of Mania Starts uh, 2017. Today is Monday, May 15th. Yes, I'm only a day behind. Good. Today's new start is actually a kit. It's the only kit that I've got uh, in my start group this year. It is a Jim Shore pattern called the 12 Days of Christmas. And it was originally kitted up with a 14 count Ada. And not that I have anything against Ada, uh, it was just a little bit too big as a finished piece. It was going to be 14 by 16, which is more than I have space to display during the holidays. So I decided that I would switch out the white um, Ada for a barely there kind of antique colorway called Legacy from Picture This Plus. And you can see that in the background there. This is the leftover 22 count Hardanger from my Village of Hawk Run Hollow piece. And so the kit comes with all the floss and the beads, everything else you need to get started. So I'll be back with an update once I've got some stitching done. Bye. Hey guys, so today it's uh, the 15th of May, it's Monday, and I wanted to check in with my progress for Mania today. This is my new start. It is a Jim Shore pattern called the 12 Days of Christmas. It came as a kit, and I'm using the called for threads, which are DMC, but I switched out the Ada that came with the kit, and I'm using a 22 count Hardanger Even Weave from Picture This Plus in the Legacy colorway. That is what I got done today. It's um, about half of the top border. Sneak that back in. It's basically to there. So I just have that corner motif to do next time I pick it up and then I can start down the side. I have a feeling that this is going to be a really long-term project because that border was not... I wound up doing a fair amount of frogging, we'll just say that. Um, maybe once I get into it, it'll make more sense, but that will be for the next time I pick it up. Tomorrow is a work in progress day, so I'm back at the Heaven and Earth story keep I'm working on, the Star Weaver design. And then... Wednesday, I will be back with my new start for that day. So talk to you then. Hey guys, today is Wednesday, the 17th of May, and I'm back with my new start for today, which I'm really excited about. It is Mirabilia's Stargazer, which I know everybody has probably seen, but for those two of you who haven't, there is the design. And I'm going to be starting this on this um, even weave from Picture This Plus that's showing really, really purple. Let's see if I bring that back. It will darken it back. There we go. That's a lot closer. It's a really, really dark blue, kind of a blue purple, and fairly mottled. Um, it's a 28 count Jobelin. And I've got all the called for threads and Mill Hill beads. Um, I've had this kitted up for quite a while and it's just been sitting, but I love the design, so I'm anxious to get started. I wasn't 100% sure about whether or not the dark color right here will show up okay on this fabric, but I think I may try to pick placement, if that makes any sense, where like, up here where it's a little bit lighter try to match that part of the pattern onto a lighter space so it'll show up. I know the light blues here and all of the sparkly bits that are up here will show up just fine on this really dark cloth uh, color. If it doesn't, I have a backup color that's a little bit more of a neutral. It's still fairly dark. It's a dark gray. Uh, it's Nocturne, also from Picture This Plus, but I'm going to give this a whirl because I really like that moody broody night sky color of this one so uh, I'll get started on this and be back to show you my progress later on today
Bye. Hi guys. So it is the afternoon of the 17th and I'm here with a progress update. Uh, I started Mirabilia's pattern, the Stargazer today. I'm doing this on a 28 count Lugana in Phantom by Picture This Plus and using the called for DMC and other assorted bits and bobs there, which I have not gotten that far, but that's what I'm using. So here's what I got accomplished today. Uh, not a whole lot, and it's pretty hard to tell what all of that is, but this section right here corresponds to that little bit of her bow that's hanging down. So I've gotten a decent start. I think the color is going to be amazing on this. I'm actually really happy with it. So I'm going to go forge ahead and uh, keep on going. When I pick this up next, uh, my plan is to work on the bottom part of the skirt and get that finished first. So I'm working that way down the pattern. And then I'll go back and do the bodice and um, her face and hands. So yeah, that's it for today's new start. I will be back to show you my new starts for the 19th and 21st um, in another day. Talk to you then. Hi hey everyone, today is May 19th, uh, coming up at the end of week three for Mania. Uh, I wanted to show you guys my starts for the next couple of odd numbered days in the month. So these two little pieces are going to be my starts for the 19th and 21st. And since I'm away for work this weekend, I'll be taking these with me. Um, and that way I can, I'm going to be doing them on the same fabric. I figured I could get both the starts done without having to drag a whole bunch of extra stuff with me. So the pattern is from Hands On Design. It's these two little ornaments. And I'm going to be doing both of them on this fabric, which is hand-dyed uh, colorway Twilight Mist on 28 Count Jobelin, and that's from Witch Elt. The pattern calls for both uh, Gentle Arts and Weeks Dye Works over-dyed floss. I don't have any of the Weeks, but I had enough of the... Uh, Gentle Arts that I decided to just use those and sub out any that I didn't have. The pattern calls for kind of um, a lot of plain colors. The little half rounds you see there at the bottom are little felt circles that you would cut in half and then stitch onto the finished item, which they came with the kit. I'm not sure that I love them. You ha you could also have the option where you could just stitch them. But I think what I'm going to do instead of doing these is to change up the color a little bit in this section because there's a whole lot of brown. I'm going to leave the house, the brown bear color that's shown there, and I'm going to change out this word bar on both of these where it says serenity there and solitude there and I'm going to kind of make it a little more Christmassy by using this color right here that's called pomegranate excuse my fingers there so it will be pomegranate along with this very pale green that's called mountain mist so that's what I'm going to use for the words on those so I will make some progress on these over the next few days while I'm away this weekend and I will do a quick update video before we head into week four. Hard to believe May is almost over. I hope you guys have been having a blast with your mania projects. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, checking in with my progress for the two new starts. Uh, I started the Serenity ornament from the Hands on Design Winter Solstice collection on the 19th, like I was planning to do. And I wound up working on that the following day because I was away on travel. 
And unfortunately, I did not get the solitude ornament started on the 21st. I just had no bandwidth whatsoever to do any stitching on Sunday. So I wound up starting that Monday, the 22nd instead. So here is where I am. I am working this on a hand dyed Jobelin 28 count from uh, Witchelt in the colorway Twilight Mist. So this is the Serenity ornament and I got the border done and most of the smoke coming out of the chimney and started on that big full moon. I'm stitching this with uh, gentle arch threads. So that's where this one is. And then I started uh, the solitude ornament and that right there is as far as I got. I did finish the smoke out of the chimney and I started the border. So at least got started on these. Um, not a ton on either one, but it looks like they're going to be fairly quick stitches to me. If I put some time into them, they shouldn't take too long to finish up once mania is over. So I will be back uh, next week to finish up the last week of mania, show you guys my starts and my progress on those. So I will check in with you then. Hope you're having a great, great mania week. Bye for now.